ignition system, plays an important role in the functioning of gas engines. Ignition system generates spark at a particular time or at predetermined interval. This spark is necessary for the ignition of an explosive mixture of air and gas under the piston. The most effective way of igniting this explosive gas mixture has been found to be the production of electric spark in the cylinder at the proper moments. Nikola Tesla invented certain new and useful improvements in the electrical igniters for gas engines and similar purposes. Welcome to my channel, Science, Engineering, Technology. Simplified. Before Nikola Tesla's design of electrical igniter, the only practicable device by which this ignition was accomplished was an induction coil. The induction coil comprised of a primary circuit and a secondary circuit. There was a rapidly acting automatic circuit breaker installed in the primary circuit. Today, there are electronic automatic circuit breakers available in the market, but at that time, the rapidly acting automatic circuit breakers were purely mechanical. There was also a circuit controller, such as a switch or a commutator, located in the primary circuit or the battery circuit. Now, when the switch was turned on, the circuit got closed temporarily and thus rapidly acting automatic circuit breaker was set in operation. Due to this, there was a continuous change in current of the primary coil. and result of this was, a continuous change in magnetic field around the primary coil. Since, secondary coil consisted of a large number of turns as compared to primary coil, a high voltage EMF, was generated, across the secondary coil due to electromagnetic induction. This high voltage EMF causes between secondary coil terminals in the cylinder a discharge, which is necessary for the proper ignition of the explosive mixture. Now, the problem was the employment of a rapidly acting automatic circuit breaker was necessary unless the induction coil was of large size and there was a source of current of considerable power. Large size induction coil, and a considerable power source, was required, because, a slow or gradual make and break done by a switch, in the primary circuit of a simple transformer, does not produce a discharge of the character necessary for proper ignition of the gas. The rapidly acting, automatic circuit breaker, was not a fully reliable device at that time, because, it could not produce such a desired quality of spark every time, nor it continued, to operate for any length of time without deterioration. Therefore, to solve these problems, Nikola Tesla designed a mechanism to produce a spark of desired character every time, without the employment of the rapidly acting, automatic circuit breaker. The idea behind the apparatus designed by Nikola Tesla was, any suitable moving portion of the apparatus is caused to mechanically control the charging of the condenser and its discharging through a circuit and inductive relation to a secondary circuit, leading to the terminals between which the discharge is to occur. So at the desired intervals, the condenser may be discharged through its circuit and induce in the other circuit, a current of high potential, which produces the desired spark or discharge. So, let us discuss the apparatus, designed by Nikola Tesla for production of spark. Tesla apparatus consisted of, a battery, a self-induction coil, a capacitor, a primary coil, 
a secondary coil. It has, a specially modified piston rod, upon which there is a commutator. The commutator comprises of a split ring, and a continuous ring, side by side. The commutator, bears the terminals of the primary circuit upon itself. Now, when the terminals are on the split ring, the primary circuit is broken. And when the terminals are on the continuous ring, the primary circuit is closed. One conductor from the secondary coil, leads respectively, to an insulated terminal within the cylinder. And the other conductor, is fixed in the vicinity of previous conductor, as to the cylinder itself. Now, we will see the working of the Tesla's apparatus. The to and fro movement, of the piston, operates to alternatively make, and break the circuit. The position of the commutator, is so adjusted, that the make occurs at the moment, desired for the ignition of the explosive mixture, under the piston. So, when the split ring comes in contact with the terminals, the primary circuit is broken, and the capacitor gets charged by the battery. In order, that the capacitor may receive a charge of high tension, a self-induction coil, is introduced in the circuit, between capacitor and the battery. The self-induction coil, stores up the energy of the battery, in the form of magnetic potential energy, when the primary circuit is closed, and discharges this energy, into the capacitor, when the primary circuit is broken. Now, when the continuous ring will come in contact with the terminals, the primary circuit will be closed, and the capacitor will be discharged, through the primary coil. Due to this, there will be a sudden change, in the current of the primary coil, and thus a high voltage EMF will be generated, in the secondary coil, due to electromagnetic induction. Now, when the piston reaches the proper point, the charge from the terminal of the secondary coil, installed within the cylinder, will jump to the piston. The energy of the secondary coil, will be discharged with a sudden rush. Due to this, a strong and effective flash is produced, which ignites the charge of the explosive mixture. Since the primary circuit is closed, Therefore during these process, the self-induction coil will store the energy. This energy, will be transferred to the capacitor when the circuit is broken, so that the capacitor, receives the charge of high tension. Now, we will see Tesla's electrical ignition system, in action. Step 1 There is no gas inside the cylinder, and the primary circuit is complete. The capacitor, is fully discharged, and the self-induction coil has stored the energy. Step 2 Fuel and air mixture, will come inside the cylinder, and the primary circuit will be broken. Now, the capacitor will be charged by the battery, and the self-induction coil. Step 3. Fuel-air mixture will be compressed, and again the primary circuit will be completed. But this time, the capacitor will discharge itself. Due to which, a sudden change in the current of the primary coil will occur. And thus, a high voltage EMF will be generated in the secondary coil. This will lead to sparking and ignite the fuel-air mixture. 
and at the same time, self-induction coil will also store the energy. Step 4 After ignition, the gas will expand, and the circuit will be broken again. And the capacitor, will be charged again by the battery and the self-induction coil. Step 5 Now, the burnt fuel will come out, and the primary circuit will be completed again, and sparking will take place. But there will be no ignition, since there is no, fuel and air mixture right now. Again, step 1 will come. This step, 1 to 5 will continue again and again. In this way, Nikola Tesla improved, the electrical ignition system, by removing the rapidly acting automatic circuit breaker. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Also please, comment your suggestions.